So we're back, and um, I was testing, and I found a problem. But all the code should be right, but it was just a configuration problem that we were going to fix in a second. So I can't remember if I did this, but yeah, we are getting the posts, all the posts from the API. The API should be running. Yes, it's running, and or Angular is running too. Okay. Now, let me just move some things. Okay. We're going to import some things inside our component, our main component, that is the Flask API and the script and the subscription. Now, we're going to get the instance. Or create the instance inside our, our constructor, um, the Flash API service. So we are going to continue adding two um, variables: the post and the post subscription. That's going to handle the subscription. And now we are going to create a new function, a new public function that is going to be get posts. And this one is going to be um, this that post subscription this that flask service that get posts that we already have that subscribe to that let's call it p and let's return that so this post is going to be p data because we are sending um well this should be fine let me see Okay, we're sending a data object, although this is not it, it's this one, we're sending a data object here, so we need to get that now, oops, okay, let me close all this, since all that is working, and now, we may can console that, but let's not console it, we're going to import here the on destroy. We're going to implement the on destroy here and ng on destroy. Now what we're going to do is this that get post is going to run with the application in it and this that um, post subscription post subscription is going to uh, get the unsubscribe method once we um, destroy this component okay so okay, I forgot one part that is the main so let's just copy that okay I need to console that okay let's just paste this you will see something funny here that is a uh, the array but I need to show you something that this that console no sorry console dialog this that posts and you will see how this returns okay we're getting and we're getting an error there but you will see that this is um, how this is going to get how flask is going to respond with uh, the name the description the file and the cover name the file name okay so in order to get that, I'm just getting, um, you know, this is the ID, um, the title, content, cover, and all that. I'm just getting the numbers. I'm just passing that. For example, the image is the tree that is coming from Firebase. Although we have a problem there, okay, I added even another image just to make sure that it was um, working. But the problem is something different. You can see the difference on the naming. Okay, let me just remove this one. Yep, because that shouldn't be there. So let's go to rules and let's just add uh, this. So this should fix the problem. Okay, so I'm just going to allow everything. Okay and that should fix that that fixes the problem so we are able to even get 
or going to the other side but I don't have that route enabled okay I do have that so post works and we can click and this is where we are going to get the post okay so let me see okay only five minutes okay <clears throat> right now we are getting also the post and I'm going to yes add one more route here this is going to be a short video okay but because the edit is going to be similar to the add post but we're going to do something different there because I faced uh, some problems with that so let me go to my uh, code and check the next route the next route is going to be up that route with the uh, is yep api then the post and we're going to pass or we're going to expect an id the method methods is going to be get because we're just going to make a get request to this we define let's call this single post just like this okay id we need to pass the ID there. So we need to create a new cursor on my SQL that connection. And to create a cursor, now we're going to execute a request. That is going to be um, I face some problems with this one, so I'm really, we're just going to use this um, string. So request everything from last post toot where the ID is equals you will uh, need to look for a better way to do this in a more secure uh, way so plus plus and here we have the ID okay so that will be your homework to do that Okay, sorry about the cell phone. So let's say record cursor. In order to get one, we are only going to use fetch one. And we're going to, no, not inside that. We're going to return now the JSONify with the data and the record. That the record is what we are getting. Okay, so we need to go to Angular. to the flask service and since we are also getting the post here we are making the request but nothing was returned there so um, let's actually try it so let's refresh this and let's also close this and restart the server okay we have a problem that is invalid oh, okay okay sorry forgot the, this is not it, it's inside here. Forgot the columns. Okay, it's this one. Restart the server. Now it's running. So let's refresh this. Just in case, we can click here. And, um, okay, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the. not the main but I forgot to add it inside or post okay post component I forgot to add the code inside the post component yeah okay so this is Whew, okay we're going to import some things so don't get um, scared just a few things okay the flash SPI the activator route and the router the subscription the post model and the groups okay so we're going to um, get or add the instances to our constructor okay just that we're going to create some i'm not going to go in full detail and because this will depend on how you want to handle 
everything. Okay, this is the way I'm going to handle it. So let's paste that. We're going to create the current ID. That this is the most important thing. That is going to get the ID from the um, URL. That's why we need the routers, the activator route, I mean. The subscriptions, to close the subscriptions, the post model, um, and some things that we need to handle the image because we are going to handle the edit in this uh, same page. I'm going to create a new um, form that is going to have some other okay, um, inputs some hidden inputs in order to send the information to be able to delete uh, and edit what we want and um, I'm just going to handle right now uh, and of course we're going to handle the, the delete here so not edit post let's handle okay let's just do this right now we're going to make a public uh, function that is going to get the post, get post by ID. Okay. And this, that post subscription is going to be equal to this, that flask service, get posts, get post, I mean singular, using this, that current ID that we are receiving from the parameters that subscribe to that um, let's call it response call it response, I don't know why so this that post is going to be equal to response that data remember that we are sending on a data object okay and um, this that edit form that is the form that we have here created I will add that in a second in the HTML. Set value. We're going to set the values uh, of the form. And let's, let me just copy this. This will depend on the response you are getting, on the data you are getting. But remember, I'm getting a string, a string, I mean, an. A post, okay. It takes a little, some time, sometimes. And so I'm using the index of each um, property and just adding that to here, okay. So I'm responding with different things inside the post. We will see that in a second, and that should be it okay that's it for the get post by id so let me see what we are missing well i'm responding with everything right inside the yes i'm getting everything from the um, from the post to where we get the id so let's make sure that everything is up to date and let's refresh this and let's go to this one and okay I forgot something this is um, we need to call this that get uh, this that get post by ID forgot to add that okay so flask and we are not getting anything what am i missing i'm making this a little faster because i'm it's kind of late so i will continue that later so i just want to finish this let me see if i'm getting the the response yep you can see how we're getting that it's only uh, that I'm not, I don't have the post here. So let me just copy what I have. Oof, that is a lot. Mm. 
I'm just copy. I'm just going to copy everything, and we will take a look at that later because it's getting late, and this most of this is not going to work. Okay, we have the title, so the edit post is not going to work, and the delete post, of course, is not going to work. But you can see we are having this um, the post. So if we go and add a new post, second post, this is the second post. Oof, this is going to take a while to upload, but well, let's see, submit. <clears throat> it's going to take a little bit of load, so change your rules to be able to get the the files. What else do I have to do? Meanwhile, I'm just going to wait for that and um, stop the video. It's going to be like 20 minutes. So, okay, it seems it's added. Yep. You can see it's fucking big. Okay, so if I click here, I got redirected to second post and I got all that. Okay, so let me see if I'm missing something. Refresh, and we're getting this. Um, I think that's it for now. Because the rest of the code is going to be, um, I will need to explain some other things, and I don't want to get to, um, you know, because it will. I will. Um, I like to take my time. With this, so we're going to leave it right now the way it is. So let me go back to the application. And flash post, okay, it's getting that. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just copy my CSS. So it doesn't look that bad. Let's control C, copy all. And um, this is the O last so this empty. Let's go to my API. No, here I'm just going to copy everything, save that. So this is going to give us a better look of what we have. Okay. The new post, the flash post, the uh -huh, flash post. We click that, we are getting somewhere. Okay, but this is not working and this is not working. So we will continue this in the uh, next video. I think I'm going to, I won't be able to record during this weekend. Today is Friday, so I will record that on Monday, and you should have all the parts um, uploaded by Tuesday. Okay, so yep, see you on the next one.